Welcome back to The Division 2. I have found a brand new way to get exotics. I didn't know this actually existed the way it currently works. In the gameplay in the background, me and Con were running Air and Space Museum on Heroic because in order to get the Tardigrade chest, you need to do True Sun's missions. I got mine from Air and Space, so we run that. And what made things even better for us at the time was the allocated loot, the targeted loot for that mission was SMGs. I'm currently grinding to try and get all of the new exotics and get all of the old ones, the original ones, at level 40. At the end of the mission, we took down the final boss and Con said, yes, I've got an exotic. Like, started getting really excited, thinking it was going to be the chest. He's gone over to the exotic, examined it, and he said, it's the diamond back. And I said, what? Like, it was really, really confusing. Because I always thought that the diamond back was... I, I didn't know if it dropped from the open world from targeted loot, but it was always Kenley College, the expedition. That's how you get the diamond back. So I've done some looking around for exotic information, and I found this, like, info sort of sheet, and it explains a lot of stuff. So when you are playing Invaded Strongholds, so that will be District Union Arena, Capital Building, Tidal Basin, and Roosevelt Island, when they go invaded, and I believe Man in National Zoo as well, you have an 8% drop chance for the Liberty, that's the pistol, the Merciless Rifle, the Diamondback Rifle, the Sweet Dream Shotgun, the Nemesis, the Chatterbox, the Pestilence, the Dodge City Gunslinger's Holster, the BTSU Gloves, Sawyer's Knee Pads, the only exotic from the original lot that I don't actually have at the moment, and the Chameleon. But then there's something else to take note of for when you are playing through this game. Because I know a lot of people at the moment are struggling with normal, hard and challenging. But if you are able to do the difficulties and you play on Heroic now, or even Legendary Missions, from Heroic Missions and Strongholds, so that'll be every single mission in the game now, if you are playing on Heroic, you have an 8% drop chance at the Liberty, the Merciless, the Diamondback, the Sweet Dreams, the Nemesis, Chatterbox, Pestilence, the Gunslinger's Holster, the BTSU Gloves, Sawyer's Knee Pad, and the Chameleon. If you are playing on Legendary, I believe every single one is the same, so the exact same drops, but your chance goes from 8% up to 10. Legendary is by far the toughest thing in the game. It's currently looking to be stupid in terms of actually taking those missions on. But what that basically means is, if you're going for an exotic, the Liberty, the... what else is there? The Chatterbox... All the ones that require crafting for the very first time, so the Nemesis as well, in order to get them to drop from the open, like, essentially the open world, in order to get them to drop from missions and targeted loot, you have to craft them for the very first time. After you have crafted them, they will then drop as the whole item, like, you'll get the whole weapon, and it will drop from these activities. So if you're playing on Heroic, like we were, you have that 8% drop chance. So when you are playing a Heroic mission, not only do you have have the standard drop chance because you're playing on heroic you've also got the targeted loot and then like for the newer pieces so we're going to use air and space museum as an example because that's the gameplay in the background and that's how i kind of like all of this come about if you are running that mission you have a chance to get the new chest piece the tardigrade armor system which by the way is incredible you have an 8% drop chance to get all of the items we've mentioned. And you also, at the time of me playing the mission, you had the opportunity for an extra chance at getting the chatterbox. So if you are doing another mission, let's say bank headquarters, you're doing that to try and get yourself the pestilence. And I'm talking about recent experiences here because the Pestilence is an LMG. LMG targeted loot was on Bank Headquarters recently. And just quickly, before we carry on with the video, I would just like to point out that it's not just the bosses that can drop these. These exotics can drop from literally any enemy in the mission, as long as you are playing Heroic. And then the Strongholds that are currently available Legendary, same goes for them. That will give you a chance to get any of the exotics that drop from Heroic Difficulty, and you'll have a bonus chance because it will be targeted LMG loot. You will have the bonus chance of getting the Pestilence. So basically you're getting two chances. So targeted loot is still a way to get hold of the exotics that you're going for. There are a couple that aren't included in the targeted loot. I don't think the newer ones can actually be got from targeted loot. I believe, for an example, Bullet King, that doesn't drop from targeted loot LMGs. You have to get that from a Riker's mission. But all of the older exotics, the originals, will drop if you're playing Invaded Strongholds. I 
Don't know if you can play them on any difficulty. It doesn't state that on this like info sheet. But if you're playing Evaded Strongholds, if you're doing Heroic Missions and Strongholds or Legendary Missions and Strongholds, you do have a chance at having, like, I'm going to say almost any exotic piece drop. So you don't have to be so specific when you are looking for exotics in this game anymore. So it was just a kind of a quick video to explain that you don't have to be going for targeted loot. If you're just playing Heroic, you do have a chance of getting certain items to drop. But obviously, if you do go for targeted loot, you have a bigger chance because you get more drops for that specific type. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.